bunnies. Hello. Oh, that's a big stretch. Today's video is going to be all about Honey and Hugo and show you what they get up to in the day and just to show you a bit of what it's like to own indoor bunnies. So I like to give the bunnies room a quick clean and tidy in the morning as they've usually made a lot of mess in the night. This only takes me about 5 or 10 minutes to do and just sets us up for the day. I do feel like one downside to having indoor bunnies is that they can make a lot of mess and, and you feel like you're constantly cleaning. But saying that, it doesn't take long at all to clean their room. Just a little side note, this Dyson is the best thing ever. It is incredible at picking up every little piece of hay. No, I'm not sponsored by Dyson, but I just wanted to recommend this product because it is amazing. Is it breakfast time now, honey? Oh, and then you have to move out the way. Honey always likes to come downstairs with me in the mornings, make sure I'm getting her breakfast. I'm going to be giving them some carrot tops this morning, and I am going to grate a little bit of carrot as well as a treat. I don't feed them veggies every morning just because Hugo's got a very sensitive stomach, and I find that if I feed him too much veggies or herbs, he gets quite runny poos, so I have to keep it quite simple with Hugo. Hugo is always the last to finish eating because he loves to have every last crumb of the breakfast. That is pretty much how our morning routine goes. I will just make sure that they've got enough fresh hay and fresh water for the day. I find that the bunny is the most active in the morning, so I will spend some time in the bunny room with them if I can. So this time of year it's very wet, cold and windy, so the bunnies do stay indoors all day. But during the summer they do go downstairs and get a little bit of playtime in the garden. As most of you know, Honey and Hugo are free roam indoor bunnies, so they have access to all of upstairs. And sometimes when I'm at home, Honey likes to come downstairs and sit in the lounge with me. Um, but Hugo is blind and he will not go anywhere near the stairs so I will have to carry him down. Between the hours of 11am and about 6pm the bunnies tend to sleep so you won't really hear much from them. They will come out every now and then just to have some water or hay or to use the litter tray but the daytime is generally when they sleep. Then any time between 6 and 8pm I'll give them their pellets. We use science selective house rabbit food. Are you excited for your dinner? Hello. I just wanted to talk a little bit about having free roam indoor bunnies because I get a lot of people telling me that they keep their bunny locked up in a cage all day which makes me so sad because bunnies just don't belong in cages 
Um, I know it can be frustrating when you've got a very destructive bunny that's chewing up your carpets um, and I can totally relate because honey used to do that and I found actually giving the bunnies more space and more freedom meant that they were a lot less destructive. But you have to remember that digging is a very natural behaviour for bunnies. There's lots of things you can do to help reduce that behaviour though, so getting them fixed, bonding them with another bunny or group of bunnies, and just giving them lots of enrichment and things to do to keep their mind busy. Our days are very calm, very chilled, the bunnies are pretty good, um, Hugo is probably the most amazing bunny, he has never chewed a wire, he has never tried to dig the carpet, he is an absolute angel so I think I am very lucky with him. Honey and Hugo are most active at night time so I'll get some little enrichment activities ready for them. I've put a few pellets into their stacking cups and then we've got this little treat puzzle board um, where I just sprinkle some forage in and then they've just got a grass nest which is filled with hay and some more forage. Then any time after about 9pm is when the bunnies become a bit more active and they tend to come out of their hiding places. And then I was ready for bed so the bunny's got lots of good night kisses. And that is pretty much how our days go but as always if you've got any questions or need any advice feel free to send me a message.